Hey everybody, I want to walk you through to um, show you how, or one way you can create that small building that's on that sheet of paper. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to go to new and then I'm going to go to browse. I'm going to look for the residential default template here and then open. I'm going to hit OK. And then wait for it. So the first thing I want to do is I usually go to my elevation, one of my elevation views. So I'm going to double click on the south view. Because I have all these levels that I don't need. So I'm going to get rid of the basement. Hit OK. I'm going to get rid of the top of footing. I'm going to get rid of bottom of footing. I'll keep the foundation. I'll keep the first floor. Um, the second floor I don't need. And then for the roof, I'm going to change. I'm going to click, double click real slow on the dimension here. One, two. And then I'm going to change this to, let's change it to nine feet. That brings our roof down. And what you could do is click on this foundation here. And you see this little, this little zigzaggy thing. If I click that, it adds an elbow, so it, it kind of moves these two out of the way of each other. So I can grab this dot and drag it over. Because you see this line goes through my text, I don't want that. So I'm just kind of drag the elbows here to kind of move them out of the way. So it kind of goes under and then dips back up. Something like that. Um, yeah, so there we go. So there's our levels. We have our levels set. So now I'm going to go back to my first floor. Double click on the first floor. Now I'm going to draw my exterior walls. So I'm going to go to wall, architectural. Now I have basic wall generic, so I'm going to use that for my exterior walls. And then I'm just going to kind of go counterclockwise. So I'm going to start in the bottom corner, drag up. That's 12 feet. And I'm going to go to the right. That's 18 feet. Then straight down is 16 feet, two inches. Now you could just type 16 space two and press enter, and that'll give you 16 feet, two inches. Um, if I come over eight feet, I'm gonna go straight up four foot two. Again, four space two. And just kind of drag it straight over to kind of close your your loop off there. So now all of my exterior walls, the arrows go on the outside. This is a generic wall, so it really doesn't matter. But if I were to change this wall type later, I might have some brick on the outside or siding. So I want to make sure that my arrows are on the outside of my, my building. And they are. So there's the outside walls. Now I want to add the interior wall. So wall, I want to look for a four inch wall. So I'm going to use this generic four inch ball. And I'm going to just kind of randomly create like an L shape here. And then um, I don't think the arrows really matter, which so if you want them on the outside, you can, but I think it's the both. The interior, it's kind of the same stuff on both sides. But anyway, um, so to mention this correctly is if I click on this, this wall, and then here's my dimension of six foot six. So I'm just going to click on this dot here to make sure I'm measuring to the outside wall. I click on this dot to make sure that I want to measure to the outside. So just kind of keep clicking it until it gets to where you want it. That's super important. So now this dimension is six foot 11, but I want that to be five foot 10. Also notice that this wall is selected. So when I change this dimension, this is the wall that's going to be moving left or right not this one over here. So that's what I want. So I'm going to click here in this area. I'm going to change this to 5, 10, press enter. And notice that's the wall that moved. So I got that one where I want it. Now I want to click this wall. I'm going to do the same thing. So I want these little, my dimensions to be from the outside to the outside. And then I want this one to be 5 foot 10. So 5, 10, press enter. 
So there's our walls. Now I can add, let me add the doors first because we're going to need to do some fancy stuff for the windows. So I'm going to click on the door and then I'm going to go to my door types here. I want to, I want to look for a single flush. So this door is two foot six, which is 30 inches. So I'm going to use the 30 inches by you can do either 80, 80 inch high or 84 inches high. I don't, it doesn't really matter. Um, I would say whichever one you choose, make sure you do the same height for the other one. Let's do 84. And then I, my door is going to swing inside and notice it swings to the wall and notice it's swinging away from that wall. So if I hit the tab key or I'm sorry, the space bar key, space bar, it'll flip it from one side to the other. So that's where I want it here. I'm just going to click it. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure this door is four inches off of this inside wall. So I can click on the door. I'm going to click this dot to make sure it's to the inside. And I'm going to click and hold and drag this one over to my door here. So I'll notice it already is four inches. So I got that right, but I'm going to type in four inches anyway. Just to make sure there. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna come down here to my interior, my, my entry door, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go to door. I'm gonna look, this one is gonna be a 36 inch wide door. And again, I wanna use the 84 inches tall because I use the same one on the other side, on the other one, so that one. Um, this one opens in against that wall, which it does. And I'm gonna slap it right there. Again, I want to make sure that this measures from here to there. It's four, oh, I got that right, four inches. So there's our doors. Um, and then our windows are going to be a little tricky. All right, so for the window, I'm going to click on this window. Let's, we can use the fix for trim. What else do we have? Window double hung. Um, I'm, what I want is a, I want a six foot wide window. And notice this one only goes up to 30 inch wide. This one goes up to 57 inch wide window casement double. We could do that. So um, I'm going to click on this window casement double, 57 by 72. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit type because it's not the size that I want. So I'm going to click on edit type and then I want to duplicate. I want to hit duplicate here because I want to make a copy of this and I want to edit the copy. So I'm going to name this one here six, um, Let me do some quick math here. I was, you know, I was not a math major, so I'm thinking I want 12 times 6. I want it 72. It is 72 high. So I want this 72 wide by 72 tall. Is that what I want or do I want? I probably don't want it to be that tall. Let's make it 12 times 6. 72. Yeah, let's make it 12 times 5. Let's make it. 60 inches. Don't laugh at my math skills. Let's use a calculator to back up me, to back me up. So let's make it 76 by 60. So just because we changed the name of it to 76 by 60, our window is still what it was down here. So the width, I want this to be, I want this to be 72, right? 72 inches. And then our height, I want that to be 60 inches or five feet. Um, and then all this other stuff, we can just leave it like it is. Hit OK there. Is that, a, oh, that's a, looks like a double door, but uh, yeah, it's a casement window that opens out. Okay, so I just kind of move it towards in the center. So I, you see five feet on each side. Um, so we're good there. I'm gonna click it that one. I'm gonna do the same thing for this other side. So I'm gonna kind of get it to where they're both the same in the middle, six feet on each side, that'll work. Click it. Um, what I wanna check is I wanna check the height. How high is, oh Lord, 
I know what I forgot to do. All right, so this is cool, so I can show you how to fix this. So our, our wall height is way in the air, but I want the wall height to be at the roof level, right? So a way to, to do all these walls is if I just hover my mouse over the top of one wall and then press the tab key, it selects that whole outer ring. So now I can, I can press the left, I can left click to select those. And then where it says top constraint, I'm gonna change this to, I want this to go up to level roof. And then just kinda hit the apply over here. Now notice my interior walls are way near. So again, I'm gonna hover over one, hit the tab key, click. That selects them all, right? All my interior walls that are connected there. Um, top constraint, I want this to be up to the roof. And then hit apply. So that kind of drops them down. <clears throat> so what you want to try to do is, you want to try to have the top of your window the same height as the top of your door. So if this door was at, I think this was at 84 inches. The head height is 7 feet. Yeah, so I want, I'm going to click on this window. And then my head height is 8 feet. I want to change this to 7 feet. And then same thing for this one. I want this to be 7 feet. Hit apply. So now that kind of lines out the tops up. All right, so now, those are kind of nice windows. I'm liking those. I'm gonna go back to my first floor here. So now I'm gonna add my two little tiny windows in this area. So for these, I'm gonna use a different type of window. I'm gonna use the fixed with trim on these. And those windows are two feet wide. So I'm gonna use, what can we use? Two feet by 48. 24 or 20, we can use a square window. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the 24 by 48. Right, and then our head height is seven feet, so that's what we want. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of click on the outside part where our window is there. Um, so one there, click there, make sure our windows are kind of centered. Uh, let me take a look and see what we got. Let's flip in the corner. That looks pretty neat, I like it. All right, so there's our, our building. So now what I wanna do is, I can either do the roof, or I want, what I really wanna do before I do the roof is, <clears throat> I wanna go to the site plan. Double click the site plan, zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna add the ground level. So, let's see, I'm gonna go to massing and site. I'm gonna go to topo surface. Um, our elevation is at zero, so I'm just going to kind of click out some way out here some to kind of create the four corners or so. I mean, I can I can do more than four corners if I want to just kind of get all crazy with it, like like cell like this, you see? Just to kind of give you an example. And then hit um, check the surface. I'm just going to show you what we got here. If I go to realistic... You kind of see our, our dirt there. Looks kind of neat. So what I, I can also do is, let me go back to my site plan again. I'm going to zoom in here. So once I have my, my topo surface drawn, I can add a building pad, which is kind of like the, the foundation, the concrete foundation. So if I click the building pad, and then I wanna, I'm going to make sure that uh, the pick walls are selected. If you wanted to offset... Um, the building you could or I'm just gonna leave it at zero so then I'm gonna just kind of click the outside walls here 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 now this one I'm gonna square it off so I got a little, like a little porch area here where my door is so I'm gonna use this it's really a fillet tool but in AutoCAD I'm gonna trim extend the corner so I'm gonna click this line that line so it kind of squares it off and then i'm going to hit okay now if you look at a 3d view let me flip it around over here you can kind of see our building pad there nice and neat looks pretty good all right so then what i want to do is i want to um 
I'm going to get fancy. I'm going to do the roof. So I'm going to go up to my first floor plan. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go to architecture, click on roof, roof by footprint. I want to do kind of a, a shed type roof. So um, I'm going to make sure that my pick walls are selected. My overhang, I'm going to have it. I'm trying to think of what I want. One foot. Yeah, I could do that. So one foot. So the back, this back line is the one that I want to slope up. So that's going to, and I don't want that, I don't want that thick roof. I'm going to check this one to like nine inches. We can do that. Um, for my slope, where is it? My slope is going to be, I'm not sure what it is right now. Anyway, um, we can change it later. So I'm going to click this back line. It's 912. I want that to be uh, maybe 612. I don't know. We'll see what that does. 612. And then, so then I want that to be the only one that's sloped. And then all these other ones, I don't want those to be sloped. So I'm going to uncheck the define slope. I'm going to click these other other lines. So then this wall here, and just like we did the the foundation pad. I don't want to, I don't want this roof to go all the way around here. I want to kind of square it off. So I'm going to use this extend the corner thingy. So click that, click that. Um, let's see. My base level is not the first floor. It's going to be the, my base level of my roof is going to be the roof. And I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to go check it. Now, hopefully it'll look like a little rampy thing. So yeah, that's you can see that that slope is way too much. So um, I'm gonna click my roof. I'm gonna go to instead of six twelve, let's go to four inch by twelve. Kind of brings it down. So if you notice, our walls do not go all the way up to my roof. So again, what we can do is just click over, hover your mouse over one exterior wall. Don't click anything yet. So just hover it over it till you see it turn blue. Press the tab key and now select the wall and it selects everything. And you can go up to where it says attach top base. I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna click my roof and then all my walls will extend up to my roof. So that's kind of a nice and neat little thing. Actually, let me, let me click on my roof again. Let's change it from like 412 to 212. I don't really want a ski slope. That looks a little better. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking. So there's our little building there. Turn our shadows on. Oh, one thing I could do also is, if I really wanted to get fancy, if you notice on this corner, there's kind of a, it's kind of hanging over there with nothing to hold it up. So I could go back to my first floor. Um, I'm not, okay. Can I get a do on the site plan? No. All right, first floor. What I want to do is add a column. So I'm going to do an architectural column. I'm going to pick any of these nice, neat ones you like, eight by eight maybe. Um, I'm just going to make it in this corner, so I'm going to kind of click it and drag it down to where it's kind of in that corner. You see it, that dash line goes to both ends of the corner. So I'm going to click it. That's going to give me my column. I'm going to cancel out of this because I only want one. Let me go back up to my 3D view. So notice my column is a little short, so if I attach top base... Kind of goes up to my roof there. All right, so um, yeah, the last thing you want to do is you want to save it. So I'm going to file, save as, you want to make sure you save it as a project. And then uh, just give it a name here. I'm just going to call this basic house Revit. Hit save. And there you go. It's nice and pretty. Now, if you want to add some stuff to it, hey, go for it. Um, get wild and crazy with it. If you want to change a different roof style, that's, you know, up to you. Uh, different windows, 
if you want to add some windows, that's fine too. Just yeah, the object here is just to kind of get you used to using the the Revit commands and all that good stuff. All right, peace out.